check it out. I got an unboxing here from Street Smart. This is going to be all the paint I'm planning on using for the new stencil project. So let's get into it and see what we got. Did my best to pick out the correct colors online, but we'll see how uh, the shading all worked out. And hopefully I uh, got some nice compliments on one another as the shades were a lot closer than a normal kind of piece that I designed for. Ooh, looks like they loaded us up on the stickers to start. Get some of these out. Got some little cat packs. Gotta check these out. Always a nice addition. Series one. So we got the pink dot, universal, banana skinny, NY fat, rusto fat, and blue dots in here. Well, I'm a man for stickers, so definitely gotta feature these. Very tight. Really nice series idea. They're all nice, uh, kind of glossy vinyls as well. Gotta dig that rust though. Right on, and let's see. Looks like we got some other series, so maybe I'll throw uh, these other mixed packs in some sticker submission stuff. But big shout out to Street Smart for hooking it up on the uh, little freebies on top. Looks like this is more of a blank pack here. I know they have some blank eggshells they've been uh, distributing a little bit. Seen some people hit those up. But first off, some pin work. So we got the classic Street Smart kind of cap logo there. Very tight. And we got the art period, big button. Very tight. Here's some of those eggs I was talking about. Somewhat of a, a red badge. It's black on white. Very nice. Circle ones were the ones I saw online. Nice execution. Get the street smart character. Some bigger ones. These uh don't quite feel like eggs, but nice real estate there for some stuff. So maybe I'll hit some of these up and pass some more along as well. And then street smart stencils, man, laid up here. So falls in line quite perfectly with the stencil project. I actually pulled in the poster for the session that I've already gotten into a little bit. So maybe I'll hit some of these up as well. Gotta love that clean logo. I wonder how they're, these kind of look laser cut. Super precise, so not quite what I would expect for uh, you know a plotter cutter. But excellent branding, because I'll be able to hit some of those up, no doubt. And then I went for 12 cans. A little bit of mix of 94, and then I think I got some hardcore as well. So let's take a look. Oh, this is a funny cat pack. Can't say I've ever seen a, a narrow style like this, but fits them just as well, I'm sure, and almost even better, actually, than having those square ones in my box. Just always seems to get lost. This might keep them a little more organized. So I just hit up some kind of skinny blue dots here. Those will be some nice softer caps. To start off with what we got on this, matte black. Also try to stick with the matte tones on all this. Figured that that would give a little bit kind of more true pigment when I'm spraying them on the posters and hopefully t-shirts. Uh, the pigment of gloss, you know, kind of catches on the fibers a little bit more. And I don't think that's gonna lend itself to be, you know, a really consistent finish on the whole shirt. So we'll see how this works out. Got the matte black and picks up two cans of those. Always go far with the extra blacks if needed. Then for kind of my lightest shade, picked up this Impanama Yellow. So two cans of that as well. Let's get a close up here. Who knows if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but uh, got the 94 cans. Went over this last time, I got some of these. A Little bit of variety on the labeling. We got the most versatile spray paint and shake well and spray. So gotta love the 94 cans. These are literally some of my favorite cans coming up right now. Just can't get enough of their valve. Makes for super easy spraying on long murals. And then also, you know, the quality of that matte finish. Really in line with my current projects. So then next up, wanted to go for I think this is probably my medium red. Looking a little lighter on camera. This is coming in the clandestine red, so pretty tight color. I was able to actually use my 94 color booklet to kind of pick some of these out. This went for, you know, an essential as you can kind of see them better in person. Not that the online colors are deceiving, but you know, you gotta like to have that first hand look at that. Just, you know, tactile nature to it. So we got that. And my medium red. And I was also going to hit up 
some orange, so we picked up uh, the speed colors. So I haven't tried these cans before. I'm trustworthy in the MTN line that they're gonna be fresh. These look like a really nice orange. So we got the Ceylon orange on there. Sweet kind of matte finish to the can as well. Supposed to be a little bit more high pressure, but I was going after the color here. So, yeah, switch it up, see what we got here, and good opportunity to try some alternate cans out, see how I like them. Then went for my browns. So we got smooth control valve on the left and shake well and spray again. And then we got Montserrat, which is kind of a funny name, but we got that nice medium brown. And alternatively, I wanted to give the gold a try, but I didn't want to fully commit to that. I wasn't sure how the you know, t-shirt and the whole design would treat the gold portion of the color. So we'll see how the gold holds up. This is just frame gold. These two could be swapped out or used in combination, depending on how everything works out. And then last up, we've got a placebo gray, which is just a light gray. Wanted to try this out in parallel with that yellow. See how these two work in you know, with one another alongside the t-shirt, just depending on how that kind of color scheme works out. And then last up, some more gray dots for kind of the small, soft stuff as well, which will hopefully work well with the stencil style. You know, you don't want to put too much paint down on the edge without it uh, kind of gumming up the stencil itself. So we've got another skinny pack of those. That looks like to be a full box. So let's pull the colors in line and check out what we're rocking. So we've got a nice spread here in the colors. Definitely some nice hues. You got kind of the lightest here on the yellow, then to the brown, and this orange looks to be a slightly darker hue, and then finally the darkest of the red. So hyped to try these out. It'll kind of look nice off that white. I'm thinking almost a cream t-shirt at this point, but that's the plan. I'm sure you'll be seeing this uh, after the fact of the video, so maybe I'll have some of that stuff to throw on top as well. To, uh, show and tell the finished product with these but yeah awesome layup here got the 12 cans the two sets of caps and the plethora of stickers from Street Smart big shout out to them over on Street Smart I've worked with them a little bit in the past through printing them some custom stickers as well as ordering a few supplies way back in the day but they were super happy to help support this uh, little project here so excited to see what we can take kind of just the single color and to mix in the whole shading and three tones of uh, the skull itself. So pumped to see where, where all of this goes and definitely excited to try all this stuff out, especially the new cans. I'm excited to see the speed. I've heard obviously good things about them, but always fun to have it firsthand. Forgot to see, these come with a pink dot to stock, which is nice. Forget what these ones come with, just the black on black. Oh, white on black. So also somewhat of a medium tip for the stock on the 94. But uh, be sure to check out the stencil videos. I've got a few probably uploaded already. Uh, so maybe check out the first hand single color process or how to make the multicolor stencil design and print them out in large format as well. You know, I only used a normal printer and was able to tell you guys how to print on multiple sheets and then tile it up and then cut down from there. So that's always a fun portion to share how to make excessively large stencils, not just uh, you know smaller ones that fit for a sticker, something big enough to fit for some poster style work or t-shirts in my case. I'll leave links to Street Smart's website as well as their Instagram down below. Be sure to check them out. They're uh, always adding new stuff over there. It's really gonna do it for me guys. Peace.